Hello everyone, I am Manish Kumar Agrari, lecturer at Krishna Engineering College, Gajabad. Today I am going to discuss a very important topic of structural analysis that is static indeterminacy of structures in which we will discuss internal indeterminacy, external indeterminacy and total indeterminacy of beams simple trusses and frames learning objective of this topic is student will get knowledge of equilibrium equation support reactions for different types of support such as roller support in support guided roller support and fixed support students will also get the knowledge of determinate and indeterminate structure first of all what is indeterminate structure when the static equilibrium equations are insufficient for determining the internal forces and reactions on that structures that means it is indeterminate structures we can also say when number of unknown reactions or internal forces is more than the number of equilibrium equations then structure is called indeterminate structures first of all we will discuss what is equilibrium equations for static equilibrium we need three equations for two dimensional structures that is called equilibrium equations these are summation fx0 that is summation of all the forces in x direction is equal to 0 second is summation fy0 that is summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to 0 third equation is summation mz is equal to 0 that is summation of moment is equal to 0 by using these three equilibrium equation we can solve the determinate structures Static indeterminacy or degree of redundancy is represented by ds which is the summation of external indeterminacy dse and internal indeterminacy dsi. External indeterminacy dse is the number of external reactions in excess of equilibrium equation. It is generally deals with external reactions. Internal indeterminacy is DSI. It is the number of internal forces in excess of equilibrium equations. This deals with internal forces such as axial force, bending moment, shear force, etc. First, we will discuss static indeterminacy for beams. We know that Static indeterminacy is of two types external indeterminacy and internal indeterminacy. External indeterminacy is given by DSE is equal to R minus S. R is the number of unknown reactions and S is the number of equilibrium equations. Internal indeterminacy for the beams is zero because if we know all the support reaction, we can easily find the axial forces shear forces and bending moment that is all the internal forces example of the beams this is a continuous beam in which one support is in support another is roller support and other is roller support in support has two reactions roller support has one reaction and another roller has also one reaction so total number of reaction is four 1, 2, 3 and 4. We know that total number of equilibrium equation available is 3 for the two dimensional or planar structure. So DSE is equal to R minus S that is 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. And internal indeterminacy for the beams is 0. So total indeterminacy, the <coughs> total indeterminacy is equal to external plus internal. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So this structure is statically indeterminate by 1 degree. 
static interferency for trusses external interferency is same as calculated for beams d s is equal to r minus s where r is the number of unknown reactions and s is the number of equilibrium equations second is internal interferency internal interferency d s i for the truss is equal to m minus in bracket 2j minus 3 where m is the number of members in truss and j is the number of joints in truss let's check a example a truss is given in the figure in which an inclined load is applied at a joint which is making an angle 30 degree with vertical it has two support one is hinge another is roller hinge support has two reactions r1y and r1x and roller support have one reaction r3y so external indeterminacy for the truss is number of reactions minus number of equilibrium equation is equal to zero so this is externally determinate structure number of members is seven and number of joints is five so internal indeterminacy is m minus in bracket 2j minus 3 is equal to zero total indeterminacy is external indeterminacy plus internal indeterminacy is equal to zero that means this structure is statically determinate or having zero indeterminacy third is static indeterminacy for portal frames external indeterminacy is same as calculated for beams d s e is equal to r minus s where r is the number of unknown reactions and s is the number of equilibrium equations second is internal indeterminacy d s i is equal to 3 multiplied by c where c is the number of cuts required to open the rigid closed loops we will see in example what is rigid closed loops and total indeterminacy is external indeterminacy plus internal indeterminacy let's take example of portal frames this is a portal frames in which three rigid closed loops are shown in figure these three are closed loops and these are open loops in this frame structure four supports are first is fixed support second is roll, uh, hinge support third is roller support and fourth is guided roller support for fixed support three reactions for hinge support two reactions for roller support one reaction and for guided roller two reactions one is vertical another is moment so d s e static intimacy external for the portal frame is equal to number of unknown reactions minus number of equilibrium equation is equal to 5 so this structure is externally indeterminate of degree 5 c is the number of cuts required to open the cell is equal to 3 because we will make 3 cut 1 2 3 to open this closed loop so d s i external internal indeterminacy is 3 into 3 is equal to 9 total indeterminacy is external plus internal is equal to 14 thank you